So it's my turn to go first. And I will place the dummy token here. Okay, it goes over to Jen. She will place the dummy token. Uh, she doesn't want me to go first. Because uh, she doesn't want me to get the hectic day or the old friend. Um, not that I really can. She, I'm out of uh, board space here. But she'll just place the dummy token on the first lot just to be safe. And then she will um yeah she'll basically go here and get no cards just so she knows she goes first let me reset all this i'm not going to reset this at school trying to remind me that i could get cards okay so goes over to me and i will I'm gonna go here. No, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to three actions. Okay, so Jen places her iron boy first and uh she's gonna come up here and she's gonna grab the old friend. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot the grab my cards, but okay, I'll do that now. Um, so the cards I'm gonna grab is, are gonna be first. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the valet, and that means once per round, I get an extra action if I play an event card. Okay, and my second card, since I know I have that, um, I'm gonna draw an event card. Okay. So I have a ball for two actions. I get to spend four pounds up to 13 pounds with five actions. Okay, so now back to what I should be doing. It's placing my iron boy and I'm gonna go here and grab the hectic day. Okay. Um, no, I'm not. I need somewhere to place some cards. I'm going to grab the extra tile here. Okay. Ah, the school chum. I forgot about him. Gives me two more cards. So I grab the tailor, which means I can card with this symbol. I can spend three extra pounds. And you know what? I'll grab another card. Carriage. I can activate it for one action and spend three pounds. Okay, so it goes back to Jen. Jen will place her uh, her envoy on I'm going to steal this guy here. A hectic day. Okay. Um, and I forgot to appreciate the houses, so one and one. Okay, I am going to change the value of the houses because I want to sell this, remember? So I want to go take the farm house over there, place it there, and Now, you know what? I'm going to do this because Jen has the townhouse and the mansion. So it costs her plus three for a mansion and plus one for the townhouse. Um, remember, we can't go bankrupt if we have properties. We have to get rid of them first. Okay, so it goes back to Jen for her actions. Okay, so she has three actions plus the old friends, which she's going to activate. Here's her four actions. 
I think she's going to play the old friend for one action. Okay, and then she's going to activate him for a pound. Okay. Gives her another action. Okay, and then she's going to spend an action here and get... Um, no, she's not going to do that. Um, she's going to hold on to that for the next round. Okay, so now... The mark is not right for her, for the house. So, so what she's going to do is she's going to she's going to activate them. She's going to spend six pounds. She forgot about her garter the latest round, but she'll do it this time. So that's nine pounds. She gets one. Um, minus two actions. She's got one action left. Uh, she just basically activated the old friend. Not for the action, but just to spend the money. Um, yeah. So that's, that's going to be the end of her turn. Um, next round, what she's going to want to do is, she's going to want to sell the houses. Um, we'll see how she uh, wants to do that next round. How she wants to manipulate the market. Let's see how she does that the next round. Okay, so it comes over to me. Okay, so let's see here. I only have three actions. Then let me go down there. Plus the old friend I'll activate him. Okay, so that's four actions. Um I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this guy for one action. Okay. Now. I'm going to hold off on the rest for one second. I'm going to sell my house here. Okay, so. It's 13 minus 3 is 10. First thing I'm going to do is activate it though. So that's 4 plus 10 or uh, minus 10 is 6, so I'll get $6 for actually selling it and activating it. Okay, so I get 6 pounds and I get rid of the house. For one action. Okay, now I activate this guy here. I get an action to play if I use the white card. Um, hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll activate him. He'll give me another action. And so I will I'll go for this one. Three pounds or six pounds for three actions. Okay. And then I'll use up all three of my actions. What is that what I want to do though? Oh, let me think about this. Um Yeah. Okay, I'm going to spend three actions for six pounds. Discard that. It's one time use. Wait for a card. Okay, so there we go. And that's six pounds. Okay, and then I'm going to activate my carriage ride and my coachman and my old chum, school chum. So that is another five pounds. Okay, so that's 16 pounds. Jen has 10 pounds, but she still has property, so she cannot go out this hand. Okay, so let's get into that round. Let me go down one round. Jen goes first. 
Let me collect our tokens. Okay, now Jen did not. She activate the houses so they don't depreciate. She's going to reset all these cards. I'm going to keep the school chum down to remind me. Maybe I'll actually remember this time. Remove these guys here. Okay, so now first two cards are crown cards. First one is a hectic day. Second one is another hectic day. Okay, now it's round four. So it's actually round five. So it's a um, event card, which is dinner. So for one action, we get two pounds. For an action and a dog, we get four pounds. To spend four pounds, okay? So it's the fifth round. So we put out another event card, which is a boat trip, and it's simply you pay two actions and you spend five pounds. And finally, our helper card is the waiter. Okay, so it's Jen's first. She has to discard down to two cards and she's going to keep the hectic day. And she's going to get rid of the school charm with the uh, companion card. She's going to keep the one with the event card. Okay. Goes over to me to discard and I will. I'm going to keep the boat trip here. And I had to wait her. Let me grab that, or uh, this one here. Might actually keep him. Um, the tailor. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get rid of them. These two, and I'll keep the waiter. Okay, so Jen will first place her dummy marker. So she again, she doesn't want me to go first and get a whole lot of actions and all that she's gonna block this one here so i'll go with my dummy marker and uh i'm gonna limit her actions she has two extra actions potentially because of the old friends here so i'm gonna place this guy here Whoop. come back here i'm gonna place the dummy action marker there Okay, and I'm going to place my actual marker over here on three. Okay, so I draw a card, two cards. Okay, plus the old chum, the school chum here gives me two extra ones. Glad to remember that. So I'm going to draw an event card. And uh, another event card. I'm going to make a three event cards. Okay. And then I am going to draw a carriage. Let me draw a companion card. Hey, got the woman. Yes. All right. So that'll be good for these two cards. Um, now, if I play the waiter, I can play it on this. Collect an extra pound. There's also this card here. So, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so Jen's final turn is going to be to place her guy. Um, no, she's not really worried about the actions. Oh, uh, so yeah, she's going to go here to go first. Okay, so Jen gets one action, and I get three actions. Um, uh, let's go with this first. First thing Jen wants to do is rearrange the property values. Um, so, the townhouse is what will give her more money back. So, she wants to put that at negative three okay and then the mansion she wants to put at negative two okay 
She wants to sell these. Um, okay, so... Oh, I forgot to draw her cards. Okay, so let's draw her cards. She's going to draw... Uh, a couple of fun cards here. Dinner time two. Okay, I think I should draw one more. Boat trip. Um, draw the gentleman's club. That's four. And finally, draw another helper. Reservations. Okay. Um, so it goes over to me, and I thought Jen was going to go for one of these, but apparently she didn't. She went for the other one, so I'm going to grab this guy here. Okay. It's Jen's turn, and she will... Uh, hmm, let me see now, what does she want to do, she wants to, she wants to go with the waiter, I think, yeah, because she has a couple of these cards with the fork and ice symbol and then reservation, so, she's going to go for the waiter, okay, whoop, Okay, and then finally it's my turn to place my last guy here, and I'm going to go for the reservation, or the dinner, okay? Okay, so Jen's up first, and she gets one action, and she's going to activate the old friend, and the other old friend, spend one pound to activate the other guy. Okay, so that gives her three actions. First thing she's going to do is sell the houses. Okay, so the uh, mansion here is seven minus three, four pounds. No, or wait a minute. No, first we'll activate them. So she's going to activate it. Nah, she doesn't want to burn my accents on that. Okay, so four pounds for the mansion. Mansion gets sold. Okay, next. Now she got that for no actions because of the the state agent here. Next, uh, before she sells that, she wants to activate the gardener. And she'll spend three pounds on that. Okay. And then she wants to sell the townhouse. And it is 13... Minus three is ten pounds, so she gets ten pounds. Okay. So now, let's see what she wants to do here. Um, okay, for one action, she wants to place the waiter down. And then, the reservations. Okay. So that's two actions she used. Next, this was the one on the gentleman's club, I think. Um, she's going to spend one action and gain two. Okay, so. Well,. Yeah, you know, she'll spend one action and get three, but in actuality, it'll only be two because she's spending one. So that gets discarded, and she gets two actions. Okay, now she will activate the reservations, spend one pound, but she has the waiter, which she will activate. So there's two pounds for that. Then she will, she'll use these, so that's four, five pounds, and then that'll be the end of her actions. Okay. So that's pretty much 
No, wait, no. She got one more option. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me think about that. Another uh, five pounds. Plus one each for the waiter. So that's actually seven pounds. I'll take two more pounds. Almost get there. Okay. So now. She really can't do anything else. No. Okay. So now she's going to discard the, guard, the state agent and the gardener. And for her final action. She would actually like to get this guy down. But she doesn't have enough actions. So she'll play the school trump. Okay. And she'll activate it for the next round. Okay. So, I see the Jen's turn, and it comes up to me. Okay, let me reset him. Okay, so I am going to play the waiter. Okay, and then I'm going to play. The hectic day, same as Jen, will give me two extra actions because it cost one. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate my old friend. That will give me five actions. Okay, so now let's see here. If I play the waiter on the dinner here, it will give me three. Let's see. What will I get the most for with the waiter here? Okay. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I get another action because I'm going to play a wild card. Okay, so. I'm sorry, I'm going to play an event card. So the first one, I'm going to go to dinner. It cost one action, and I have a lady guest here. So, I could actually spend four pounds, but I'm going to activate the waiter. So, that's five pounds in one action. Okay, discard them. One action, five pounds. Okay. Now... Next, I am going to uh, I'm gonna activate the coachman, and I want to play him on this card here. Okay, so that's three pounds and one action. Okay. Pay ten, I get seven back. Okay, so next I am going to uh see I got four actions left. Okay, I wanna go to the theater and that is three actions or three pounds. Okay. One action, three pounds. So I'm down to five pounds. Um, and I got three actions left. So I'm going to play. Uh, well, I could do it one or two ways. Um, I'm actually going to go win the bet. So I want to activate this guy here. It's two pounds. And then. Five, seven pounds, and three actions. So I'm actually in the hole. Two pounds. Okay. So that is the end of the game. Okay. Well, okay, I should have declared bankruptcy, so I'm bankrupt. That's the end of the game.
Uh, Jen has 13 pounds left, and I won. Uh, surprise me. A little bit. Eh, not really. I, I tend to win this game. Recently, I've been winning this game. So, um, that is Last Will. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Okay, folks, first I want to make a note. These videos are no, by no means supposed to replace the rules. I can and will make mistakes. I'm sure on this one I made a lot. Just had a rough time explaining it for some reason. And during the gameplay, I just kept losing track of what I was doing for some reason. Um, probably because of some uh, medical things I've gone through. Pain. Um, anyway. My thoughts on Latest Wheel are this. I think it's a good game. Um, I think it's got some replayability because of, you know, the random card placement and the random um, will cards. You could draw a will card and see how much money you have to blow in the beginning of each round. Um, I know Jen likes it. You know, I said the first time we played it, I said, what do you think of it? She said, I gotta spend money. What do you think? And I love it. <laughs> no, she didn't. She said, I liked it. I like it because she won't tell me she loves the game anymore. She's afraid I'll run out and buy all the expansions and whatnot. So she said, uh, it was alright. <laughs> but, uh, um, I think the artwork's nice. The components are really nice. You know, nice thick boards that you play with. Uh, the car stock's pretty decent with the cards. Um, I like the little top hats for the, uh, uh, for the Aaron boys and all, you know. Um, so nice, nice components there. Um, you, you feel like you, you are in the Victorian era. You, you know, you're taking a carriage ride to go to the opera or go to the dinner reservation. Um, you're hiring waiters and, and you're going on uh uh what do they call it boat trips you know you're throwing extravagant parties you feel like you're in a victorian era blowing all this money that normal people never would um i am proud of myself i never once called a game brewster's millions during the taping i do that quite often you know when we're at home i'll say to jen hey let's play brewster millions like, all right um i like the money um, they didn't give you paper money, which they could have. They gave you little little uh, tiles, and I do like that. I, I don't like paper money. It's just it gets all crinkled after a while, torn, and you know they get funky. I, I like the tokens. One thing I don't like about the game is the symbols. There are so many symbols in the game. It took. Uh, it took a while to, to get the symbols down, and I still have to go back to, you know, the, uh, the instruction manual on the back page there is a list of what all the symbols mean. I, I still have to go back to that from time to time. Um, but other than that, once you get that down, it's an easy game to learn. It's an easy game to play. As you can see, it's not such an easy game to teach. Um, but... Once you play a couple rounds, you, you, you pretty much got it. You know, it's, all in all, I, I think it's a good game. You know, it's it's one I think will keep it around for a while. And it's got an expansion to it, um, which looks really, uh, really different to me. It, it's uh, an expansion. You're getting hired. You know, you get a job and your boss won't fire you, <laughs> you know. So you got to fight with that constantly to to uh, spend all your money. But uh, a note on on these afterthought things: I don't own a game that I dislike. Well, no, there's one that I just can't get rid of. But if I don't like the game, I either traded them away or sold them or whatever. Um, so yeah, you'll hear me go, yeah, it's an okay game where I like the game, you know. Um, if I do play a game that I don't particularly enjoy a lot, I'll, I'll say that. But for the most part, I don't own a game I don't like. Uh, I like some more than others, but 
I won't keep a game. You know, I, I preferably I trade it off to somebody so they can enjoy it if I don't. Uh, that being said, last will. Thanks for watching. Check it out. I'll see you next time.